and they're off. In the way to Paris at Cooligan stood Hugh McMahon Memorial Novice Chase and extended three miles ahead of them in 16 fences. And as they head up the straight, vying for the early lead, Darren's Hope towards the left, Grandero Bello in the centre, Sean Goel is close on the outside in the orange and black. As they jump the first, Devil's Coachman landed in fourth spot ahead of Life in the Park towards the inner and the yellow colours of Clon Mean on to fence number two. They'll jump this one three times as they clear it and head up to pass the judge. The leading trio, covered by half a length on the inside, is Darren's Hope, Darrow O'Keefe in the centre, Grandiero Bello, Ricky Doyle, near side Sean Goel, JJ Slevin. Just a length then to walk in or Life in the Park on the inside. And Rachel Blackmore alongside the Devils coachman Dennis O'Regan. And at the back of the six runner field as they head into the turn is Clon Mean and Simon Torrens. As they continue around the turn, disputing the lead, Darren's Hope and Grandero Bello. Sean Goel is third on the outside. Life in the Park tracks him on the inner. Tracked by the Devils coachman. A couple of lengths away, Clon Mean as they head for the back straight. Five fences ahead of them up the back. Darren's Hope and Grandero Bello by over a length. Sean Goel the outside. Life in the Park is towards the inner. And then the Devil's Coachman. Clon Mean at the back, but only about six lengths covering the six runners as they near the first of the fences in the back straight. Darren's Hope on the inside, narrow leader over Grandero Bello. They'll rise together. Darren's Hope, Grandero Bello. Life in the park and Sean Goel close behind, a length and a half way to the Devil's Coachman as they go to number four, Darren's Hope and Grandero Bello. A little slow and dropping back to the rear of the field, the Devil's Coachman as they go to the middle fence on the far side. Darren's Hope, Grandero Bello on her outside. Landed with a narrow advantage, Sean Goel next with Life in the Park towards the inner. Clon Mean and the Devil's Coachman the final pair as they go to jump the next. Grandero Bello leads by less than a length to on the inside Darren's Hope and they're followed by Sean Goel improving in the Devil's Coachman has gone into fourth. Life in the Park next, Clon Mean at the back as they reach the last of the five fences on the far side of the track. Darren's Hope with on the outside Grandero Bello, Devil's Coachman has improved up behind him. Sean Goel is fourth spot and at the back now Clon Mean and Life in the Park together as they Run downhill towards the turn into the straight. Darren's Hope by a length and a half under Darrow O'Keefe, tracked in second by Grandero Bello, Ricky Doyle, just over a length away to the Devil's Coachman, Dennis O'Regan. Sean Goel in the orange and black colours, JJ Slevin is next. Then a break of a few lengths to the other pair, Life in the Park, Rachel Blackmore on the inside of Clon Mean and Simon Torrens. As they reach the turn in, nearing the completion of a circuit, Two fences to ring them up past the stands and then another circuit to complete. Darren's Hope from Grandero Bello, the Devil's Coachman, Sean Goel, Life in the Park and Clon Mean. As they near the first of the two fences in the straight, Darren's Hope in the white and blue colours, the blue of Grandero Bello, behind them with the white cap, the Devil's Coachman. Break of a few lengths to Sean Goel in the orange and black, followed by Life in the Park. Clon Mean brings up the rear as they jump the fence in front of the stands, last one after a circuit. Darren's Hope with Grandero Bello back up on the outside, less than three lengths away to the Devil's Coachman. Sean Goel remains in fourth spot, followed at this stage by Life in the Park and at the back Clon Mean as they head for this long sweeping turn that will bring them away from the stands into the back straight. Seven fences ahead of them in this final circuit. Darren's Hope by just about a length, Grandero Bello, close up on the outside, they're tracked by the Devil's Coachman, a break of five lengths then to Sean Goel, Life in the Park last but one, with Clon Mean just behind him, as they continue around the turn, about to enter the back straight, Darren's Hope, Grandero Bello, the Devil's Coachman, a break of four to Sean Goel, Life in the Park remains in fifth spot, with on the outside Clon Mean, as they head across to the first of the fences up the back straight. In the lead, Darren's Hope leads by about two and a half lengths. Grandiero Bello second, the Devil's Coachman. Close third on the inside. Clear break of five or six lengths then to Sean Goel. Life in the park and Clon Mean to the outside of that pair as they go on to the next. Darren's Hope by less than a length. Grandiero Bello jumps up on the outside to 
dispute the lead. They're tracked two lengths back by the Devil's Culture. When they break a four, then to the other trio. They jump the middle fence. Brandero Bello jumps on. Darren's Hope second. The Devil's Culture in a close third. A break of a few lengths to Clon Mean, who's gone four. Sean Goel next. And now Life in the Park is at the back as they clear the next fence and continue to climb to the third last, the fence at the top of the track. Grandero Bello leads. The Devil's Coach went up on the outside. Darren's Hope on the inner. A break of a few lanes then. To Clon Mean as they clear the third last. And begin the descent. Grandero Bello by a little over a length. To the Devil's Coachman. Darren's Hope nudges along on the inside. And they're followed on the downhill run by Clon Mean in Life in the Park. Sean Goel at the back of the field. But only six or seven lengths off the leader, and that leader is Grandero Bello. Leads by just about a length. The Devil's Coachman on the outside is second. In third spot, Darren's Hope. And then a few lengths, about three lengths to Life in the Park, trying to close on the outside of Clan Mean. Sean Goel struggling now at the back as they swing in with a good run to the second last. Grandero Bello tracked by the Devil's Coachman. Darren's Hope driven along back in third. Break then to Clan Mean. Life in the Park out of the centre of the course, and Sean Goel. As they come down to the second last, Grandero Bello on the left, the Devil's Coachman stands side. Grandero Bello led the Devil's Coachman, and they're clear as they head down to the final fence. Grandero Bello still out in front, the Devil's Coachman challenging stands side. Not much to choose between them as they jump it and over it. On the far side, Grandero Bello, the Devil's Coachman getting the upper hand now on the run in, and the Devil's Coachman stretching on under Dennis O'Regan to win the Hugh McMahon Memorial in good style. The Devil's Coachman beat Grandero Bella. Life in the Park stayed on in third, clear of Clan Mean. We walk back in with uh, Dennis O'Regan's just landed our feature event here at Limerick, the way to Paris, Coolagown Stud, Hugh McMahon Memorial Novice Chase. On the Devil's Coachman, relatively straightforward, well done. Yeah, he was good. Um, we're happy with that now. Uh, I thought the ground was very holding, and I know he likes a bit of soft ground, but I thought it was a bit too holding for him even. Uh, classy horse, uh, relaxed well, seemed to do everything okay and uh, you know it's all serving towards his confidence. I thought the lads there, uh, Les Wackus, lads of the yard and Noel, they've done a great job to get him back to this now and um, it, was a lovely, it was a lovely race to pick up. And of course he's jumping the early part of the race, just lacked fluency but he got into a good rhythm and I thought the first four down the back the first time he was just a little bit novicey at them is that fair to say yeah i didn't look i never i've never rode him over fences before and uh i've watched some top jockeys riding him and i i just i think if you let him relax under you i think he needs to be held you know all the time and once i got to learn that after a couple of fences i realized i can't leave the bit out of his mouth to be honest so um and once i did that i thought he was terrific after that to be honest even the last he was very good at the last jump and of course he's in the national, the Bile Sports National, at least a Monday, a couple of weeks' time, 10 4 on his back. Now does have a good record, isn't he? They do, and Noel Mead has won it and it looked to be great. Well, yeah, uh, uh, it's hard to see it's hard it's hard to see him uh, a horse like him not having a chance in it at the same time. Uh, I'd say you know, he'd certainly he'd have to, you know, improve a few things as well, you know, to get in the mix of thirty runners and inferiors now will be tight, you know. So I don't know. I'll see see what the see what the bosses think. You have a perfect record on him. It's two for two. You won a maiden hurdle on him as well a couple of years ago. Didn't you? That's a few years ago now. And um, in fairness, uh, you know he he always promised to be very good. He's by Lucy Pimpernel, and he, he's probably one of the best of them around. And uh, looked as lovely to get on a horse like him. And great. Well, well done. It's been a good week. And any second now as well in the Webster Cup the other day. Well done. It's great to ride winners for JP McManus and. Uh, and you know obviously Ted and Noel so and especially Limerick as well as good so I love the track thanks subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this